Developing news tonight, disbarred lawyer Alec Murdoch is facing felony charges related to the death settlement of his longtime housekeeper, Gloria Satterfield. News 2's Riley Benson has been covering this case for us from the very beginning and joins us live in studio. Riley, Murdoch was arrested in Florida this morning. Yeah, Brendan Murdoch is facing two felony charges for obtaining property through false pretenses in connection to the death settlement for the estate of Gloria Satterfield, the woman who died after allegedly tripping and falling at Murdoch's home back in 2018. Murdoch was arrested shortly after 9 o'clock this morning outside the rehabilitation facility in Orlando, Florida, where he'd been receiving treatment. Now, as he awaits extradition, we're hearing more from other crimes the family is connected to. I didn't shoot him. Are you innocent of everything? I'm innocent. Yeah. If I'd have shot him, he'd be dead. He's alive. The arrest just hours after Alec Murdoch's alleged accomplice, Curtis Smith, provided details behind the botched suicide attempt of Murdoch on Labor Day weekend. He said, you going to shoot me? I said, no. You, you took the gun and you shoved it behind him, between me and him, and it went off. What percent are you positive that he didn't get shot? If you could put a percentage on it. A thousand. Smith says he's being set up while Murdoch's attorneys claim Alec was seriously wounded. Murdoch's latest arrest, not the only update coming today. Joe McCulloch, who represents Connor Cook, a passenger in the deadly 2019 boating accident that Murdoch's son Paul was allegedly driving, is filing a petition against state agencies who accuse clients of lying. Ferocious response from South Carolina Department of Natural Resources in which Connor Cook was labeled a liar. Um, I could not let that pass. McCullough says Cook plans to file a lawsuit in the coming weeks and says SCDNR had the deposition and reasoning for Cook withholding information in the hours following the boating accident. Cook, a 19-year-old at the time, knew of the family's influence. He was told by uh, a Murdoch to keep his mouth shut, that they would take care of it, as he said in his deposition, and he was afraid of them. The arrest, just the latest twist, and something McCulloch and other attorneys say they are watching closely. So we're interested in where the money went, and, and I have a hard time believing uh, that the money was spent on, on drugs. In the state of Gloria Satterfield released a statement that says in part, quote, Today is a bittersweet day for the Satterfield and Harriet families. The families are extremely grateful to law enforcement, SLED, and the South Carolina Attorney General's Office for its investigation. And today's criminal charges against Alec Murdoch for two felony charges, Class E counts of obtaining money by false pretenses. Live in studio, Riley Benson, Count on Two.